this is my friend's old 2012 MacBook Pro. It's been almost 13 years since he bought it. Initially, it performed very well, but over the time, it began to struggle with running the latest versions of Mac OS. To enhance the performance and usability, we upgraded the internals, replacing the OEM battery and hard drive with SSD, and installed Mac OS Catalina, the last supported version. Despite these upgrades, the performance remained underwhelming due to the system's limited hardware. Then we decided to downgrade to the version it shipped with OS X Mavericks. For Mavericks ran much more smoothly, but most modern applications were not longer compatible with this version. But that's when I convinced my friend to try a Linux distribution to improve usability. After testing several options, I decided to use Ubuntu 24.04 LTS for this video. This video shows how to install Ubuntu 24.04 LTS on old MacBook Pro. You can follow the same steps to install Linux on nearly any Mac before 2016, especially those without the T2 security chip. It should work just fine for most older Macs. Right now, this Mac is running Mavericks, which we will erase and replace with Ubuntu shortly. Before you begin, it's recommended to back up your most important data to the external storage and sign out of your iCloud account. The only requirements for this video is 8 gigs or higher USB drive to create a bootable disk with Ubuntu. You can use your Windows or spare Mac to create a bootable USB. Now for this video, I'm using my M1 MacBook Air. Then head over to the Ubuntu website and click on the download link to get the Ubuntu ISO. I recommend using the LTS version for its stability and long-term support. While it's downloading in the background, head over to this website and download the Belana HR. Now once both files are downloaded, place them on your desktop for easy access. Then connect your USB drive into your computer. Open Etcher. Click on Flash from file. Import the Ubuntu ISO. And click on Flash. But this will take some time depending on your USB drive speed. Once it's complete, I'm going to eject the USB drive, insert it into the old MacBook Pro. If the battery is under 80%, connect your Mac to the power source. Then restart your Mac and hold down the Option key until the Boot menu or Startup Manager appears. Now you will see the bootable USB labeled as EFI Boot with orange icon. Now use the arrow keys or the trackpad to select it and press Enter. If you don't see the USB boot option, restart your Mac again and this time hold Command plus R to enter Mac OS recovery mode. Inside the recovery, go to Utilities, then choose the option that says Startup Security Utility and change the setting to allow booting from external media. Then restart your Mac and hold the Option key to enter the Startup Manager. After selecting the USB drive, the Grub menu will appear. Now select the first option and press Enter to try or install Ubuntu.
Now, once you're inside the Ubuntu live session, go ahead and connect your Mac to the internet via Ethernet cable or Wi Fi. In my case, the built in Wi Fi on MacBook Pro is not working. So, I'm going to connect the TP Link wireless USB adapter. And you can see the Wi Fi starts working fine. Then go ahead, set the system language and click next. Now skip the accessibility settings by clicking next. Now choose your keyboard layout and click on next. Ensure your Mac is connected to the internet connection and click next. You can choose to try Ubuntu before installing. But for now, select Install Ubuntu and click Next. Now choose Interactive Installation from the options. On the Applications page, you can select the default installation with Essential Applications or the Extended Selection which includes more apps and useful tools. I recommend the second option. Then click Next. Then check the both options to optimize your Mac by installing recommended software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and click Next. On the disk page, you can choose to install Ubuntu. Just go ahead, select Erase Disk to wipe the Mac drive and install Ubuntu. Then create user account. Select your time zone and click on next. Now this is the summary of the installation. You can freely go back and make changes if needed. If everything looks good, click install to start the Ubuntu installation. Now this will take some time so sit back and be patient. Now for me it took around 30 minutes. Once it's completed, click Restart. Your Mac will now boot into newly installed Ubuntu OS. You can go ahead and remove the USB drive. Now go ahead and log in with your password. The welcome screen will appear after the first boot. Click next to proceed. You can choose the Ubuntu Pro subscription for software and security updates until 2034. Now for now, I'm going to skip this option. You can also choose whether to share data with Ubuntu. If you prefer not to, select the option to decline and finish. In terms of performance, Ubuntu runs very well on this 2012 MacBook Pro. I haven't encountered any major issues except the built-in Wi-Fi support. The built-in trackpad gestures and keyboard work smoothly. The system also detected all hardware and installed the correct graphic drivers, providing a great valent experience. Also, the idle RAM usage of Ubuntu is significantly lower compared to Mac OS and applications open faster as expected. Overall, using Linux on this old Mac seems worth it. And that's how you install Linux on old Mac in under 10 minutes. I also made a video about things to do after installing the new Ubuntu, so check out the video link in the description. 
Let me know if you want to see more videos regarding older hardware. If you have any questions or queries, do post them in the comment section down below. Thank you so much for watching. This is been KSK Royal. I will see you in the next one.